Hey there, it's me. Let's continue our Q&A with part two. So what else do you wanna know? Are Brecken and London actually twins? The answer is yes. We used one egg donor to create all of our embryos, used my and Chris's sperm to fertilize them, and our IVF doctor implanted two embryos, one from me and one from Chris into our surrogate. Now you may notice that they don't look exactly alike and that's because they're not identical twins. They're called fraternal twins. In the previous Q&A, a lot of you noticed my sparkly rings and wanted to know more about them. So this band right here is my original engagement ring. And when Chris and I got married, I decided that I didn't want to add a second band at that time. So I utilized this ring also as my wedding band. Up until last October, this has been the only ring I've worn over the last 12 years. And then late last year, after months, if not years of contemplating, I finally decided it was time to design a second ring. The diamonds represent our family as a whole, with the center stone for Chris and the side diamonds for Brecken and London. What did I do prior to becoming a stay-at-home dad? Well, prior to the pandemic, I was in the hospitality industry for almost 13 years as a senior sales manager. To break it down, I worked at resorts, boutique hotels, and downtown properties and sold them in bulk. If you ever attend a conference and there's rooms, meeting space, and food and beverage and private events, that's what I sold. When it comes to sharing our lives and our family on social media, how do I deal with the negativity and backlash? Honestly, I do my best not to focus on the negative. I'm around my kids constantly, and even with Miss Allison here to help, I can't and I won't let negative comments and negative energy affect the way I'm going to parent and be present for my children. When we first started sharing our fatherhood journey after our kids were born, I let everything get to me. I didn't have thick skin. I cared too much about what other people thought. Until finally I said, you know what? Enough is enough. I'm never gonna please everyone and not everyone's going to like me. I just had to ignore those negative actions and focus on the positive and the good. And I must say the community we built on social media has been truly life-changing, uplifting, and so positive. So thank you. Pardon the plane. When it comes to real and honest parenting, do I ever need a personal tap out when it comes to meltdowns and tantrums? Absolutely. I know most of our content is joyful and uplifting and as it should be, but I do try my best to show real authentic moments when it's appropriate to do so. I am far from a perfect parent, even though some of you might think that I am, but it's taken me a lot of time, effort, and patience to get to this point. Do we get recognized in public? The answer is yes. Does it happen every day? No. But luckily when it does, every single person that has approached me, my kids, Chris, our entire family, have been super genuine and kind, and we thank you so much for your love and support. We have time for a couple more questions. Do we still have Miss Allison? Yes, don't you worry. Miss Allison is here part-time Monday, Tuesdays, and Wednesdays, and on additional days and times when we need her. She is such a huge blessing for our family, and I'm so grateful my friend introduced us. Last but not least, do Chris and I wanna have another baby? As of right now, no, we feel super complete with our family unit of four, but a final decision on that detail has not been made. And that's all the time I have for today. The kids are up and it's time for me to go. Thanks for joining me.